Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of uh, practice circuit problems. Okay, so in this question, we want to find the voltage V as indicated here with this uh, specific uh, polarity. Uh, so this is the voltage across the current, the current source. Now, as I mentioned a couple of times before, nodal analysis is considered as one of the very efficient techniques to solve several types of uh, circuit problems. So this is what we're going to do. We'll use nodal analysis here as well. So I will assign here uh, the ground. So the V here is equal to zero. Now for this node, between this point and the ground, the voltage is 120 angle of zero. So we already know the voltage. So we need to find V1 and V2. So we have two unknowns. Now, one thing we mentioned before in nodal, first you need to find the voltage at every node. And then after that, you will, you will check what is the problem is asking you to find and you'll find that. So for this specific question, you want to find V and basically V is nothing but V2 minus, minus V1. So this is what you want to find. So you have to find V1 and you have to find V2 as, as well. So node analysis, as we know it, KCL at V1. Assume the currents are leaving, except for the current source, because this one has its own direction. So I cannot alter that, but I can assume the currents are leaving in all other uh, segments of the circuit. So the current to the left is V1 minus 120 angle of zero divided by 10 plus the current that goes down V1 divided by J10. The current to the right is one angle of 90 equal to zero. So one equation, one unknown, so we can solve it right away to find V, V1. So this is the circuit part. Now the rest is math. Okay, there are different ways you can handle this. So one way, for example, I can multiply by G8, G, sorry, J10. So uh, please try your different ways of solving the, the, the question. Uh, as I mentioned before, sometimes you might take this part, multiply by J over J, convert this into uh, uh, the denominator into a real number, and then do the, uh, the addition or subtraction of the different terms. So there are different ways of solving this problem. So this will be J10 times the whole equation, V1 minus 120 angle of zero divided by 10 plus V1 over J10 plus one angle of 90, and everything is equal to zero. Okay, so we'll multiply this. Uh, J10 times the first term, 10 will cancel, so we'll have J times V1 minus 120 angle of, of 0 plus J10 times V1 over J10 will cancel, so plus V1 plus. Now, what is J10 basically? J10 is nothing but 10 angle of 90. So I multiply J10 times one angle of 90. You multiply the magnitude one times 10. So this is equal to 10, 90 plus 90, which is 1, 180, equal to zero. Okay, so I will take V1 as a common factor. So I will have one plus J minus. Now, what is J? J basically is one angle of 90. So J times 120 angle of zero. So this is minus 120 angle of, of 90 plus 10 angle of 180 equal to zero. So I will take the constant to the other side of the equation. So we will have V1, one plus J is equal to 120 angle of 90 minus 10 angle of 180, which is equal to, this is equal to J 120, and this is equal to minus 10 with a minus, this is become plus, plus 10. So from this, your V1 will equal to 10 plus J 120 divided by one plus J. So now I'm dividing, 
two rectangular numbers. So the best thing is to convert both of them into polar. Uh, so this will become equal to 120.4 angle of 85.24 divided by 1.41 angle of 45, which is equal to 85.4 angle of 40.24. So now we found V1. So what's next? We need to find V2. So we apply KCL at V2 as well. So this is my V2. So assume the current here is leaving. The current is leaving here. Okay. So the current that goes in the upper branch is equal to V2 minus 120 angle of zero divided by minus J20 plus the current that goes down V2 divided by five. And this is minus or equal to one angle of one angle of 90. Okay. So one way, as I mentioned in the previous uh, step, I will multiply by minus J20 to get rid of the minus J20 in the uh, denominator. So we will have here V2 minus 120 angle of zero plus minus J20 times V2 divided by five equal to. Now, as we, we said before, J20 is equal to what? Is equal to 20 angle of 90. So what is J20 is equal to 20 angle of minus 90. So we'll multiply 20 angle of minus 90 times one angle of 90. So what we will get here, we will get 20 angle of 90 minus 90 or or zero. OK, very good. So we will have here V2. We'll take this to the other side. Now this becomes minus J4. So minus J4 V2 equal to 120. Take the constant to the other side plus 20. So this will give me 140. So V2 1 minus J4 equal to 140. So your V2 is equal to 140 divided by 1 minus J4. So are dividing two numbers. Again, we convert everything into polar. This is already with angle zero. So this is equal to 140 angle of zero divided by 4.12 angle of minus 76. So from this, you can say that V2 is equal to 34 angle of 70, 76. So this is your V2. Now back to the requirement of the question. Now I found all the node voltages. So what I want to find is V. So your V is equal to V2 minus V1. V2 is 34 angle of 76 minus V1. We found it from the previous step. This is V1. So it is minus 85.4 angle of 40.24. So now we are subtracting two polar numbers. We cannot do that. We have to convert each number into a rectangular number. So this is equal to 8.23 plus J33. So this is this number. Now this number, this is minus 65.2 plus J55.2. Now if we subtract these two numbers, you will get minus 56.97 minus J22.2. You can keep it like this. Personally, I prefer to have this as a polar format, which is equal to 61.14 angle of minus 158.7. And that's, and this is the voltage that you are looking for, the voltage across the, the current source with the given, given polarity.